Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar Sarma here and today question is basically based on the concept of algebra. You can try the question and then you can resume the video. So in today's question, the question says x plus 1 is equals to x square where x is positive. We need to find out the value of 2 into x raised to 4. Now definitely from the first equation one can find out the value of x and there can be let's say 2-3 approaches which one can follow to arrive at the answer. So first of all let's try to find out what is the value of x from the equation which is a quadratic one. So one can rewrite the equation as x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0. And then if I use the formula minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by a 2a, one will get the value of x as 1 plus minus under root b square minus 4ac term will become nothing but 1 minus 4 into 1 into minus 1. I get the square root part become nothing but 1 plus 4 now which is 5 and hence we get x to be equals to 1 plus minus root 5 divided by 2. Then if you can see that since the value of x is positive we can negate the value of 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 since that is going to become a negative value. So my value of x since x is positive will get 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now let's see what people can do at this particular moment. So if I got the value of x as 1 plus root 5 by 2 and my task was to find out the value of 2 into x raised to 4, I can do this. x is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 whole raised to 4. This will be equals to 2 into, first of all I can use the formula 1 plus root 5 whole square power 2. If I look at the term 2 power 4 that become equal to the number 16. Then if I use the a plus b whole square formula in the middle bracket, I will get nothing but 1 plus 5 plus 2 root 5 whole square. 2 upon 16 term will become 8 in denominator. This part if I look at further will become 6 plus 2 root 5 whole square upon 8 and again if I use my formula of a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab, a square term become 36, b square term will become nothing but 2 root 5 whole square which happens to be 4 into 5 20 and the term 2 into a into b will become nothing but 2 into 6 into 2 root 5 giving you the number 24 root 5. So one will get over here 36 plus 20 plus 24 root 5 whole divide by 8 this thing become 56 plus 24 root 5 divided by 8 and then one can cancel the number 56 and 24 by 8 giving us a value 7 plus 3 root 5. And if I see my option, my answer has to be option number 4 here. So in the earlier method basically we are applying the square 2 times. So we are applying the formula a plus b whole square let us say couple of time. What we can do is let us look at one more approach. Once we got the value of x to be 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. In this particular equation, I can get the value of x square quickly, which is x plus 1. And since x is this, 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 plus 1, my value of x square, if I simplify, will come out to be 1 plus root 5 plus 2 whole divided by 2, or one can say 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. And then I can use this particular value to find out my x raised to 4. So the term, 2 into x raised to 4, I can write as 2 times of x square whole square. So since x square is known to me as 3 plus root 5 upon 2 whole square, 2 times of, let us look at the term 3 plus root 5 whole square. Again, if I apply the term a square plus b square plus 2ab, the a square term becomes a 9, the b square term becomes a 5, the term 2ab will become nothing but a 6 root 5 whole divide by 2 square becomes a 4. Then if you can look at the numerator part, I get 2 times of 14 plus 6 root 5 whole divide by 4, which if I simplify, I will get 28 by 4 giving us 7 plus 12 root 5 divided by 4 will give me a 3 root 5. So again, if you look at, we have got the same answer. So my answer has to be option number 4. Let us look at one more way to solve the question once we got the value of x. Since we know that x square is equals to x plus 1, 
so the term 2 into x raised to 4 I can write as 2 times of x square whole square and the term x square I can replace as x plus 1 whole square. This thing if you look at will now going to become x square plus 2x plus 1 and what I will do now is I will again put the value of x square in terms of x and since x square is known to me as x plus 1 this part is going to become x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 giving us a value of 3x plus 2. So this term become nothing but 6x plus 4. And now one can simply put the value of let's say x as 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So if what is 6 times of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 will give me nothing but 3 times of 1 plus root 5 plus 4 and 1 will get 3 plus 3 root 5 plus 4 giving us a value 7 plus 3 root 5. The choice basically is yours. You can choose any of the above uh, mentioned uh, methods to find out the answer but my eventual answer will turn out to be same and the answer will be option number 4. Now you can try out the replica question and you can put the answer in the comment section. In case of any doubt, feel free to let's say put your comment and we will reply.